Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Strange Professor, and today we're doing another episode in our Legendary Belgar campaign, Steel Faith Overall Mod. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Now, this episode, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. We'll see. Um, usually I'm taking care of my daughter this time of day, but she is sleeping in a little bit. I'm not sure why it is raining outside. Maybe my wife put her to bed a bit early last night. I went to bed a bit early last night because I was sick. I am getting better. I think in another day or two, I'll probably be all the way better, so sorry if I still sound weird. Um, but it is getting a little bit better. Um, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and level this stuff up. So if she wakes up, you know, in 30 minutes or something, then I'm going to have to go uh, go deal with that most likely. So we'll just have a 30-minute video in that case. But she, I, I walked in there. I opened the door and just walked in. And, like, it's just, like, no response. So she's alive. Like, she was breathing. Um... But, uh, I did not seem to have much interest in wanting to get up, so, whatever, I'll let her sleep in. Basically, I watch after her, if, like, three days of the week, and then she does daycare a couple of days of the week right now, just to save on some costs for us, um, and to give her a good mix of, like, individualized attention, and then also sort of, uh, learning how to work with groups in a more structured One environment for daycare. Okay. Quarter untainted, long beards. Um, the corruption is obviously really high. Not sure if I can hold this. Now, we were looking last time, and it has really nice growth. Um, and it's a 10 slot town. Okay, that actually does give one untainted, which is. Pretty legit. Anything else give untainted? <clears throat> I remember I was looking last time for untainted stuff. I have plus one oath gold is actually kind of good. Plus two growth. Uh, I mean, maybe that building is better than I thought. How many tradable resources? Two. Corruption's going down pretty quickly, but I can't stick around here for that. There aren't any other special buildings. This doesn't give any money. I'm not even sure if it's worth holding, honestly. Like, I thought about it, but realistically, I don't get any money off of this. It has no resources. Like, when are we going to get 100 gold? Turn? Maybe? Like, I'm going to spend so much money just trying to hold it. I don't know. Just, like, getting territories is pretty bad. Um, Sigma maybe I just let the Skaven take it back. I don't even know where they are. They've got a 20 stack somewhere. You seek the lady. Maybe I just let the Skaven take it back. And then um, just vassalize the Skaven. It's probably a better option. Oh, this. Um, maybe I just pick that for income and trade. Yeah, there's just no reason to hold it unless it has like a gold mine or something. Yeah. There's no money there. Dwarves just get no money for buildings, basically. Extremely low relative to other factions. Okay, so we do need to come over, come up here and knock this stuff out. Or at least we need to vassalize the, uh, the elves, shut them up, come down south. Uh, we're gonna have to take, um, see, how do I see all that stuff? I'm not sure. It is time! Greetings, honorable. Okay, um, yes. Green. Our kin have come. Fetch the brew. Okay, I think we're... Not all our trade partnerships. They did lose their port last turn. 
Midland. So we need to see if they get that port back anytime soon. Now we did betray Sartosa, which they are they do not like very much. Um The Nation calls. I don't know how serious these vampires Lord are. Like they declared the war on me, I think, but uh, there's no way I'm getting grunt zen. Yeah, I don't I don't want to get caught up in all that crap up there. Um I need to take this out. I think just run up, take out the elves, take out this, burn that this time, let the elves occupy it, and then we rotate back down here to Sartosa. I mean, we could run straight at Sartosa right now and try to vassalize them, but I think the elves are more difficult than Sartosa if I let these elves build up a 20 stack again. They already have one. I think I can go 20 on 40. Not possible. But I can at least try Not to get possible. these guys before that happens. Um, I don't know what happens if I take Oak of the Ages. I've never done that before, and I'm not an elf. I mean, obviously, I, I can't hold it. I don't think I can hold it. I can at least vassalize one elf. Hmm. Sartosa is very vulnerable right now. Oh, well, I just took that fight this turn. Okay, so I can't do anything extra this turn. Um, is it even worth putting like this in there? Probably not. There's nothing short term for me. Growing at a decent clip, sort of. Right, not done. Working text. Just looked at diplomacy. Grudge books. Don't have enough oak gold yet. Is that what we're just getting? Trade caravans. It's pretty legit. Okay. those elves step out so we can kill them. Mm. She's still looking really tired. She did wiggle a little bit a second ago. But she's not like sitting up or making any noises. So. Now she's stirring a little bit more. Oh wow, Von Karstein was destroyed. Jeez. Who did that? Empire Counts, maybe? Maybe I do just complete this province here at Miragliano. Just let the elves do their thing. I don't know. Scryer will be the rebellion here. They'll take it back and then I can maybe vassalize them. You know, I mean, I guess if the corruption comes down enough, I could maybe hold it. I would just be getting like 100 gold, 200 gold a turn. I don't know. I mean, I guess it does add up.
Oh, I feel like that didn't even give us any extra gold. A little bit, not much. I guess because a lot of the gold is just base gold. It's not based on, like, we got, you know, half a log, half a thing of beer or whatever. So it's not, like, as strong as the 10% uh, total trade. Okay, well, they are starting to ride on us. So we are going to have to go up here, and these guys are starting to mass up again. Yeah. Can... Okay, they're raiding, not sieging that right there. That's I'm going to have to go help my girl out. No, Gracie, never run. True king. Billy Gar, I am. This shall be done. Uh. Don't you dare. What is this? Norse Roy. Huh. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to make the play on the elves over here. Grudge bearer. Now I could pop into Maragliano. It won't help for public order, but it'll save me 10% upkeep, so it'll save me 400 gold. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Leaving. Okay. Negative six growth, what? Commandment negative forty. What? Oh, this nightly raids. All right. I could take off taxation here, and that would buy me some more time on the rebellions. <coughs> okay, that's still working. Nothing special over there. What, fellow Dowie? It is an honor. One rag. We're maxed out on them. Anyone else? Wait, where's yeah, dreadfully hates us, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to go kill them. Okay. Hold on, what was that map? Oh, Empire killed him. Okay, where'd he go, Carl? I serve Sigma. Empire's getting after him. Servant of the faith. Oh, for real? That's intense, dude. He has so many generals. What? Praise Sigma. Norska's slaughter the sheep. Creeping. Carl's got some people up here that would deal with that. By the coming. Yeah, he can probably deal with it. I shall be I'm strong as hell right now. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm not really not doing much over here. I'm just like running around, killing stuff, running in circles because I can't afford multiple armies. Okay, dwarfs are kind of getting a foothold over here. So I can maybe start rotating in here and killing these greenskins soon. But now I gotta deal with these elves. I don't know. I think my diplomacy really quagmired me up here. I did get a lot of money, which I needed, but now it's got me in a fight with the elves that I've got to finish before I can go south. Unless I just want to give all this up. Remember, you know, that is a strategy that people do. Because they will just... Uh-oh. She's not making any noises, but she's starting to wiggle around a little bit. Where are we on time? course as soon as I start this going. Okay, don't know where that dude's going. How long are we on? We're only 14 minutes in this episode. 
She might be okay for another 10 minutes or so. Let's see if we can get one fight with the elves or something at least. Beam up, speed up, speed up. Let's go. There we go. She's not gonna last much longer though. She's gonna want something to eat in a little bit. She's a pretty chill baby. I mean, she's cool with just like sitting there chilling a lot of the time. Um, but you know, obviously, don't want to don't want to abuse that kindness of hers. Sadie. Uh, I'd rather have leadership. Oh, it's the same thing. It's just to troll right the wrong, honor is all. Right? Yeah, it's just flavor. Sure. Grumbling guard. Oh, they are coming hard at me. Oof. Okay. Duff Bar actually has walls, though, so they can't... I don't think they're going to be able to siege that immediately. This is the one without the walls. Which I should maybe consider getting into. Once again, I don't want to spend too growth there. I would like to get to Tier 4. Maybe that's... Maybe that's a uh, faulty reasoning. But... Okay, 20 here. King of Eight Peaks. Got Inspirational Leader. Um, don't have big artillery. These, we looked at this. This is for Skaven. Doesn't matter as much. Iron Drake's Miners. Those are pretty bad. Orc Spain is good when we start making a play down there. Uh, global... That one's okay. That one's pretty good. Mountaineering would definitely save some money. Especially down the line. Now, what, is, what is this one again? Chance of intercepting and underway. And ambush defense chance, 80%. I mean, that's pretty good. If there's going to be people, like, zipping around. Usually that's kind of silly, but plus 40% there. And then there's another... Uh, 30% there. It should be like you always intercept. If we get that. Which would be really nice. Um, I think... Uh, I think we need to go to elites, though. Like, start getting some of this stuff. Now, which one of these is for... Grudge throwers? None of them are for grudge whatever. Oh, it's all artillery. Okay. I'll we'll start working that. Yeah, that place is definitely going down soon. Uh, so she's massing up again. I don't. I mean, we can kill her anytime, anywhere, probably. This dude just chilling in his tree. She is. I protect Just flexing on him. Silver shots. Okay. Ooh. Magic ammo is kind of scary against my uh, my ghosts. 
Those do way more damage. Those do 61 damage, too. Wow, the Bordens. That's a Steel Faith unit. Anti-large. Fairly armor-piercing. Those are pretty good. So those are like the very upgraded normal dudes I have. Eternal Wardens. Okay, so those are actually quite strong. To battle. Oh, it's going to be a tough one, but we got to go fight them. Uh, like I said, I don't think they can siege this in one turn. So let's go ahead and kill this rebellion that's on the way. Don't make us fight him, please. Come on. Okay, please. Okay, uh, a little bit more damage than I would like, but... I would like the gold, but I don't want to hurt my replenishment this turn. Jettying on! Got us a little bit of Oath Gold here. Oh, Brass Cleaver, yes! That's one of the best. Let's see, who's gonna have this cleaver? I stand defiant. Can he do it? Alright, do I want the ward save, 6% ward save, or seed of rebirth? Uh, I think rebirth. Yeah. Very strong item. Okay, so... What are these things? That. Ready. On my way. Movement range, 51%. I have 51 movement range. What does this say? Campaign movement range required to adopt, 50%. Oh, that's weird. Let me look one more time. Oh, how much do I have left? 51%. So why can't I do it? God, it's so infuriating. I wanted more replenishment. Move up a little bit more, I guess. Our ancestors would be proud. Uh, and then over here, I guess we switch over to um, chance of interception. It's gonna be too late, though. That's that's fine. We'll just leave it on the growth. This place is stabilizing a little bit. Corruption is going down. So it would have been nice if I could have stayed in this territory and just, um, that's what I should have done for the extra anti-corruption. Stayed in this territory and then did a, uh, defensive posture. Onward! Greetings on onward! Making sure Midland didn't get their port back. Nope. Okay, let's see if we can get this fight and then I'll go, uh, get her up and we'll get some breakfast. I'm going to be a little disappointed if they try to siege Carrick Duff, Duff Bar right now because then it's going to be 20 on 40 if I attack them. <coughs> They'll probably break the siege and run away. 20 on 40 is going to be a slaughter. I would like a 20 on 20 good fight. <coughs> My units are a little injured, but not too bad. Stalia.
Oh, Carl took their port. Yeah, they're not getting it back. I swear some of these like songs, these old soundtracks sound kind of like Gladiator. Gladiator soundtrack. Like back in the late 90s. <coughs> taxing this. Like, it's giving me like zero money. Oh, I could take the tax off of this and that would slow this advancement a little bit. Yeah. Let's do that. That'll give me time. That'll give me some alone time with these elves up here. How dare you? Revenge incarnate. I think not. I thought they had a 20 stack. That's like multiple times. Oh, I guess they took all their heroes out. Never. Is that what it was? Madness. They had 17. Lord of the Angron. Let's see if they'll fight us. <laughs> I'm still not sure why we get the slideshow when he's running over there, but... Okay. Come on, a little bit further. Onwards. Close. True king of I think I got him. Got him, coach. Yay for like 40% movement speed off of all my stuff. The fastest dwarf on the planet right here. A lot of that might also have to do with vigor. I don't know if your vigor plays into. I don't that'd be pretty advanced. Okay, she's starting to she's starting to get going, so let's go ahead and do this fight. And then we'll probably call it an episode. Let's go ahead and get to full range here. They don't have any artillery. I do. I mean, that's one of the great things against Wood Elves, at least in the campaign, is uh, artillery. They're pretty fast, but and they have very good missile infantry, but they don't have any artillery. No shoddy contraptions here. Begin. So kind of my front line. For Grimnir, I will have vengeance. Uh, 
Hogar. Yep. And then. I thought I had him in that group. Put these in there too, it's fine. Have these kind of in the back. Probably just actually aim towards the middle here. Okay, so we can take the Slayers up there against it. These things are like stunning, I think, too. That's why they're not like able to move forward as much. Do all of them stun, or is it just the Bugmans I wanted to stun? Because that's why they were just like, you know, they're just getting lit up. Reach for, reach fast! Ready to fail! Yo, what's up now? Come creeping on my territory again. The explosive charges look really awesome. I don't know how amazing they are, but they certainly look cool. Alright. Well, I mean, maybe I could do 20 on 40 at that. I don't want to get too cocky, though. Those poor little elves just can't penetrate that armor with shields and regeneration. <laughs> the Bugmans. And Olympic Vigor. I mean, that army certainly looks virtually impossible to stop, but we'll see.
Imagine if I had a full hammer line to go with it. I mean, these guys never really do that much. It seems like, oh, there are these overpowered ghosts. Like, the thing that's strongest about them is they're free. So that you can actually field something in the early game. But they very rarely get a lot of kills. Like, it's nice to have. <laughs> what did I get? It is nice to have some early game heroes, but, you know, they're not putting in a ton of work. The most powerful one is probably the Engineer. You do get some good buffs off the Rune Guy. The Thames don't really do much other than just, like, soak hits. Um. <coughs> yeah, we'll take that money, I think. The replenishment's not going to matter that much here. I don't know if he gets to run. No, we got him. He already ran once. Seeking vengeance. All right. So next turn, we'll um, we'll come over here and we'll start smashing some elves. We'll smash King's Glade, hopefully, and Findal, <coughs> and then we will vassalize them, and then we should be able to rotate back down south. Want to slip through? And try to make, uh, try to get Sartosa if we can. Actually, we probably need to kill this up here, too. Kill this if we can. Um, burn it. And then, uh, vassalize those people, come back down. Skaven will have this back. Knock out Skaven on the way, vassalize them. <clears throat> Come down, clean this up. This is over the next, like, ten... This is my ten-turn plan. We'll see if it works out that way. And then finally, once we have, like, the bad actors through here vassalized, then we can run through here and go for Caracate Peaks. That's that's the plan. Now, with Noculus, we, you know, he's kind of a wild card. We'll see what he does. Um, you know, if he starts stepping up, stepping up, we might have to make a detour and kill him. Um, but for the short term, that's what the plan is. So, anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Sorry, it's a shorter episode. I wasn't sure when my daughter'd get up. She's up. We did get a um, a good fight in there. We had at least what I thought would be a competitive fight. We slaughtered them hard. Uh, so, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I guess we could just, after we vassalize them, just like beeline straight for Karakate Peaks. But, uh, Salt Spite's going to come at us if we do that. I think we need to finalize this down here at least first, and then go from there, since this is kind of on the way. But anyways, we'll figure it out next time. So, thank you very much, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.